Hello, it's Rebecca here from Precious Pages Papercraft and today I'm sharing a layout for Pear Tree Cut Files and I'm going back and using a couple of the slightly older files for this layout. So I'm starting with Right Now, which was part of the April release. And I've cut it onto smooth black cardstock and then I've um, kind of pulled it apart a bit, offset the letters so that I can cut those out um, slightly bigger so that I can back the cut file. So I've cut those directly onto one of the pattern papers from Vicky Bootin's colour study collection. Um, it's the Pretty Things paper, I think it's called, with all the butterflies on the other side. Um, so I wanted to go for a purple and green theme for this layout. And my intention was to use Paige Evans' Wonders collection um, but I didn't have a purple paper and I don't know if there is one in that collection, I haven't bought all of it. So um, just for these letters I've had to use um, the colour study collection, <coughs> excuse me, um, which is fine, I don't mind mixing and matching collections, um, I think it all works out quite well in the end. But then um, I'm going to revert back to Paige Evans' Wonders for the rest. And I wanted to challenge myself to try and use some bits from this ephemera pack. Um, I bought it because they're pretty and um, obviously you need things to embellish your layouts with but they are huge um, and I'm really struggling to use them because they are so big so I've picked out a couple of the pieces with purple and green on um, I don't end up using all of them but I do end up keeping the flower and the leaves there that I've put under my title um, I don't know if I'm going to ever get round to using the rest of the ephemera pack, um, but I've uh, used two bits from it now, so I feel slightly better. Um, but for the rest of the layout, for the rest of the embellishing, I'm going to fussy cut some elements from the papers. And that's the good thing about this collection. If you're like me and you're struggling with that ephemera pack, lots of the papers in this collection are great for fussy cutting to give you some smaller embellishments. So I've cut one of those envelopes there with the florals in it. I've purposely picked the purple one. And then I've got this gorgeous sheet of all the butterflies and I'm gonna cut out loads of the purple and green ones to um, embellish my page further. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a really bad cough and sore throat at the moment, so you have to bear with me. Um, I've also got over on the right there some stamps, um, some leaf stamps that I've um, stamped onto paper and cut out. Now this is a Vicky Bootin stamp and I have been desperately trying to get hold of it and can't. So um, a lovely, lovely lady from the Scrappy community has lent me her stamp so that I could um, stamp myself a couple of sheets of the image and um, I've got some to use now. So i um, really, really grateful to her and I love that Scrappy community are so lovely like that. So I've, um, as you can see, I've stamped a few there over on the right. I only end up using two in the end. Um, but it's just another way of um, adding an embellishment to my page. I've mounted my photo onto white cardstock and then also onto uh, a green patterned paper. That's the reverse side of that butterfly paper. Um, just to bring in a bit more green because I've got purple in my title, the envelope and that large um, flower. So I felt like I needed a bit more green to balance it. And then with that stamped image I've got here, I've stamped it with stays on ink so that I can um, add paints and inks and things and colour them. And I've just used a Distress ink in Mode Lawn to colour that green. <coughs> and um, I do end up adding a second one as well and I do the same thing, I colour it with a Distress ink but I make the second one purple and I use Dusty Concord for that. I want to raise my title up um, to add a bit of dimension to my layout. I love to have lots of different textures and dimension on the page. So I'm using just some um, cheap adhesive craft foam. Um, I've just cut it into thin strips and put them on the back of my title there. I've left the top of the H and the T without any foam because that's, um, in my head, they were gonna sit on top of my photo, but um, they don't. <laughs> I could have put foam behind them, but um, obviously being poorly lately, I'm just not thinking straight. Um, as you can see there, my photo is not sitting underneath the word right, it's sitting um, sort of behind the word now, but never mind. <laughs> um, I can always go and add that back, some foam back in if I need to. And I just come in there and coloured another leaf there with the purple, that's the dusty concord. And then I took a break and went and picked my son up from school and decided I needed something on my background but I really didn't want to add mixed media but I, I wanted something. And I had this cut file, this is the overlapping circles cut file 
<clears throat> um, it's from the March release and I've had it cut for a while now and not been sure what to do with it and I just thought I'd have a play and lay it down on my background and I actually really really loved the way it looked it almost gave the um the background kind of like a lacy or quilted appearance it just looked really pretty so I'm gonna go with that so I'll just sort of put everything back on top just to see how it looked and I really did love the look so I'm gonna go ahead and get that stuck down and it's gonna leave a slight border around the edge of my page but I'm fine with that um I could have mounted the entire um background piece on a patterned paper to add some colour but I actually didn't think that would look right I thought it would completely change the look I was going for I think this cut file on the background gives the layout kind of I want to say dainty but I'm not sure that's the right word but it does just give it a really pretty kind of lacy look to it so I didn't want to ruin that with um, a coloured border around the edge of the page so I've just used my glue to stick that down and just rolling the paper towel over it just to apply some even pressure to make sure it's all stuck down. And I've only applied glue around the edges and then to the sort of the centre of where the um, kind of the circles overlap. And they kind of um, look like flowers with four petals, which I thought was really nice because the photo I'm using today is of my son and I <clears throat> in amongst the bluebells in our local woods. And I'm also using florals to embellish the layout, so I thought that would um, actually work really well. I'm also raising my photo up onto foam just to bring that up to the same level as my cut file. I'm just going to stick that down with double sided tape. Then once that's in place I can um, go about getting all my embellishments stuck down. So with the word now, because it was slightly thinner, I've not used the um, double-sided craft foam behind that. I've used just uh, little foam pads. So I just had to take a couple off the top of the W there, just as they are sitting above, sort of on top of my photo. And then this envelope, I just got to raise certain areas up to bring it all to the same level. And then I can work on everything else. I realized I wanted to move my cut file over to the left a little bit more to give me some more space for these leaves but um, my double-sided tape is very sticky and it was just not going to happen without ripping that gorgeous cut file on the background so I'm having to just go with it and tuck those stamped leaves in a little bit more um, than I initially planned but that's fine it works and then I'm just tucking that massive <laughs> flower underneath the title to try and hide some of it so it doesn't appear quite so big and then just raising the edges up and those leaves with foam pads again for that dimension so now for my butterflies i've cut loads of purple and green ones and initially i had them laid out um, kind of individually but i've actually decided i'm going to layer them so there's different sized butterflies on that patterned paper so um, thankfully I cut just enough to match them all up and then I had a purple and a green left over. But I'm going to use glossy accents and just stick the bodies together and leave the wings free because I really find with butterflies that makes them look a lot more realistic. If you just stick the, the bodies, leave the wings um, kind of flapping, it does look like they've just landed on your layout which I really like the look of. So I'm just sticking the bodies down and I just use my tweezers to hold the body in place and I bend the wings up to make sure they don't get stuck down at all. And on this layer, I actually go around and apply a foam pad underneath the wings, but I don't peel the back of it off so that it doesn't actually stick to the wings. It just stops them going flat. Sometimes I do that, not always, but because I doubled the layers up on these, the wings were quite heavy and I found that over time they were starting to kind of sink down and I just thought, mm, that's going to get flat really quick. So I'm just, as you can see, putting the foam pad under, but being careful not to peel the backing off. And then I'm just going around those stamped leaves and adding some foam pads underneath those to bring a bit of dimension onto that side of my page. And then I'm not far from done here. I'm still trying to get that purple bird on the layout. Um, it's not going to happen. It's just too big for me, so it doesn't make it. But I've just stuck the center of my R in and I had a bit of trouble with this because when I cut the, oh, excuse me, I've got a towel on my head there, I've obviously washed my hair before doing this. Um, where I'd cut my letters, the purple out on my silhouette, I'd not lined up that center of the R right so it 
actually is too small for the hole so I had to be really careful trying to get that to fit without it falling down the hole in the middle if that makes sense. I'm just going to pull in a couple of bits from the Wonders sticker book now. I've got this gorgeous butterfly here that's got some sort of gold foiled accents on it. Um, I wanted it to stand out and not get lost anywhere so I've stuck it onto white cardstock and then just cut around it so it just helps give it a bit of separation and I'm going to stick it on my photo so it just gives it that white border so you can actually see it. And I'm going to do the same with a couple of the floral pieces from the sticker book. I'm literally just picking out the purple and green elements that I can find. And there's actually not that many purple stickers in the sticker book. So um, I think I could only find these three in the whole book. But again, just stuck them to white glass stock and I'm going to trim those out. And once I've decided on placement for those, again just using foam pads to raise those up. And I'm going to stick that floral on the corner of the R there. And I think the other one I set along at the top of my photo there just to extend that cluster a little bit more. And just stuck my little butterfly there with some um, PVA glue. And then again foam pads under that floral. So almost done now, just the last finishing touch. I went away looking for a purple Nuvo drop and discovered I didn't have one, <laughs> which is quite criminal. So I am gonna have to um, put that right and order one. But I do have this, um, it's a Dovecraft 3D pearl effect and it's pretty much the same as a Nuvo drop. Um, this one is slightly metallic. It's, uh, it's called bright purple, the color. I think I got that from Hobbycraft and I've had it for ages but I don't like the way they sit on the page as much as I do with Nero Drops. So I do just tap underneath my layout just to kind of flatten those um, dollops out a little bit. But that is me done. So thank you very much for joining me today. Apologies for my constant coughing. Um, I'm gonna go off and rest my voice now, but thank you for joining me. Please do hit the subscribe button if you would like to see more of my layouts. And if you're not already a member of the Pear Tree Cut Files Facebook group, I will pop the link to the group and the cut files I've used in the description box below. But for now, I shall leave you with the close-ups. Thanks again.